Hey, Crossword fans. Today, we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, January 22nd, 2021. All right, let's get started. All right, yesterday we had kind of a tricky theme, so I don't think we're going to have to worry about a theme today, just traditional tricky cluing, probably, because it's a Friday. All right, some internet humor. Hmm. Trolling? Memes, maybe? Meme, memeing? Do you think that could be it? Is it spelled like this, memeing? Or is it spelled without the E? Let's see if we can confirm this. Contents of some towers in brief, or maybe towers? Hmm. Some sign language users. I don't know if it's going to be memeing. Tough luck. I don't care what you think. Yeah, none of this is looking super great. Facial piercing. It's probably something ring, maybe? Let's take out memeing. That's not helping. Let's put in ring and see if we can build off that, maybe. R. Need for translation in biology? That's probably RNA. Translating DNA. Many mainframes. I guess that could be IBM. IBMs? They make a lot of mainframes still, I think. Water nymph. Um, isn't that a... Uh, is it a... Naiad or something? I'm thinking of Dryad. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is now. Dangerous thing to catch. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is either. Place for free spirits. <laughs> free spirits. Spirits is in alcohol, I think. So it'll be an open bar. Like I said, the tricking's gonna be cluey today. Or the cluing's gonna be tricky. One of those. Where the U University of Wyoming is, it's probably just gonna be a city in Wyoming somewhere. Hmm. I'm not really that knowledgeable about Wyoming. Can we get built off this S here? Place to build a castle. Hmm. Maybe sand something? It's like a beach. Sandbar, maybe? I don't really think of building castles on sandbars. Do or blank punny hair salon, maybe? Maybe it's do or die? Is that a real place or is that just a crossword salon? All right, maybe it is sandbar. Hmm. Is it a naiad? Uh, I'm not sure about that one, but I'll put it in for now. Israeli leader with an eye patch. Oh man, this guy was just on the puzzle the other day. Uh, I think I remember his first name is Moshe, but I can't remember his last name. Damn. All right, well, we'll see this guy's picture again, I think, pretty soon. Cubs hangout is a den, not the Chicago Cubs. Dangerous thing to catch. I guess a gren grenade? I guess. <laughs> I guess it'd be dangerous to do anything with a grenade. Um. Yeah, this still is not coming to me, even though I should remember it. It's I saw it just a week or so ago. Rally feature. Hmm, what kind of rally is this? Rally cars, maybe? A pep rally? Maybe it's a pep rally. A Amy Laramie? I've heard of Laramie. Is that in Wyoming? Let's put it in for now. Some internet humor? Is it lolcats? Boy, that gag's got whiskers on it. 
All right. Contents of some towers in brief. Hmm. Lip ring. That looks good. Batter of Medusa in Greek myth. That's definitely Perseus. I just watched Clash, Clash of the Titans, and that was kind of like one of the highlights of the movie. His showdown with Medusa was pretty cool. A lot of Harryhausen stuff going on in that movie. Um, Apple product launched in 2015. Is that iPad Pro, maybe? I don't know about that, but it fits. Um, apes? I guess apes have used sign language, sure. In fact, truth? That doesn't seem like the right part of speech here. Hmm. <laughs> Tough luck, I don't care what you think. So sue me again. This is the third time in like a week we've seen this answer. This, <laughs> These constructors are very sassy this week. Um, Big Ten football powerhouse for short. Yeah, I don't know enough about college football to get that. Brewery stock would maybe be yeast? Okay, in fact, I guess it's truly, that makes sense. Coined word in the title of 2008's best picture. Is that Slumdog? Is that Slumdog Millionaire? Attachment to Christ. I guess that would be Christmas. M-A-S. Uh, M-S. I mean, I'm going to guess it's a U. Uh, I don't even know what that would stand for. Missouri, possibly. Watch it. Heads up. Yeah. I'm going to duck if you hear somebody say heads up. It shares a key with a three. Well, I'm gonna look at my keyboard here. I guess that's a hashtag. It's one of the easiest, easiest clues on a Friday I've seen in a while. Um, let's see. Can't, and this isn't cannot. This is the word can't, which is like, uh, it's like specific language or is it, um, Maybe it's kind of like trite, like recitations kind of, I want to say. It's something like that. No, it is. Yeah, it is like a specific sort of dialecty jargon because the, the answer is argo, which is kind of like another word for jargon or um, like a dialect, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's both of those are kind of unusual words there. Make out in England with snog. Blank army, villainous force in Disney's Mulan. I'm just gonna guess Han. Um, pot supporters. Is this about weed or is this actually like, like a teapot or something? Would it be like a tea tray? <gasps> Ooh, that would be a great answer. I'm gonna put that in, I like that. Um, actor Armand Asante. I know the name, I'm not really sure who it is, but I've heard that name before. Vital hospital worker. ER, that should be ER nurse. Oh, are both of these wrong? That's too bad. Okay, so is this not Han, but Hun? And then this is nurse, and then this is one engaged in a struggle. A struggle. Is it an agonist? Like someone that's in agony? Hmm. Beat it. That could be get lost. Congresswoman Demings. Uh, is it Val? Not sure about that. Western city where copper riveted jeans were invented. Looks like it might be Reno. It's an interesting fact about Reno. Is there a lot of pan, panning for gold out in that City, I guess maybe. Hmm. Big name in apple juice. Mots. Two swings and a slide, maybe. I guess that's a playset. It makes it made me think of baseball at first, but yeah, that's definitely a playset for kids. So trivets. I think it's a V. I don't. 
I haven't heard of a trivet. Hmm. I think maybe maybe it's like a platform that you put a like a planting pot on, possibly. Let's leave that for last and hopefully we can and hopefully that can be our last square. Fancy I, that would be the royal we, like the queen speaks in. Actress Gibbs of the Jeffersons. I don't know this actor. Pastoral setting could be a Lee. That's like a, a like a field. Yeah. The depression for one, that would be an era. Team player who's not really a team player. Ball hog? Yeah, like in basketball. So this is looking like Marla, maybe? If this is an A. Came two could be awoke. Yeah. Test in chemistry. <laughs> uh, this is a play on words. I'm guessing it's not literally like high school chemistry. It's going to be like a chemistry in a relationship with another person. So could it be like a hot date maybe? Hmm. I don't know. If it was a hot date, then it would... It wouldn't be a test in chemistry, you'd already have chemistry, right? So I don't know about that. Website with the headings, craft supplies and jewelry and accessories. Well, that's looking like Etsy. So maybe my hot date is working out. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, shoot. Yellowstone attractions are gonna be geysers for sure. So yeah, I guess maybe it is hot date. Department of Homeland Security is the what is this, Transportation Security Administration Overseer? Yeah, okay. AOE though. Hmm. Elvis Presley sings it in Blue Hawaii. Hmm. Aloha oi. Oof. Yeah. This, this answer has tripped me up in the past just because of the strange spelling of oi. Like, yeah, it was just, I... Before I had seen this before, this looked very weird to me, but I believe that's correct. Okay, tracking device. Um, mm, no, I don't know about that one. Some printers, it's looking like ink jets. H blank J, what is that? Once in a lifetime trip is a hodge. Yeah, that's like the religious pilgrimage that Muslims take. Okay, that can also be spelled in a variety of ways, so you kind of have to look out for this. This could be two J's sometimes, or H-A-D-G, I think, is also taken. So I can show up in a number of different ways. Not serious. Mm. Hmm. Robotic adversary in <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. It's a Cylon. Language of the literature novelist Rabin Dranath Tagore. Wow. Okay, um, I have never seen this person before, but I'm just gonna guess it's Bengali because that fits. And sometimes that's all you need. Um, I guess it's just a locator. It's very generic. Not serious. Hmm. It's not jock, right? Maybe it's mock? Yeah, I guess like a mock trial. Yeah, let's go with that. Convenient place to work out. I guess that would be a home gym. No more convenient than in your own home. Bourbon relatives awry. Yeah, that's just different kind of whiskey. I think, um, yeah, bourbon has to be mostly corn and rye is obviously mostly rye. And there's also, I think, uh, there's scotch is a different thing. It's like, I forget, is it like barley or something? Yeah, anyway, it's, the distinction is like, what's the majority um, grain that's distilled? All right, burning sensation. I guess that's ire. Group with the 2000 hit. This, I promise you. And sync. Don't ask me how I know that. Causes consternation. Um, hmm. Dismays. Yeah, there we go. 
Rally feature is maybe a bend, like in the racetrack? Hmm. Murphy's co-star in 1982's 48 Hours. Okay. I think this is Eddie Murphy, right? Um, is that right? I think that's right, but I can't think of who he was in that movie with because I actually I, I haven't seen the movie, so. Hmm. Bad Fall. Hmm. Another play on words. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Let's see if we can get some of these crosses here. Deluxe. It almost looks like it's going to be like ooh la la or something. Could that be it? Ooh la la. Yeah, maybe. Corpulence. Corpulence means fat. So I think it might be obesity. Um, cells. Well, cells can have a lot of different meanings. So... Oh, this is looking like Nick Nolte. Okay. Bad fall? I guess it's hail. Like, if it's hailing, that's a bad thing that's falling. It's dangerous, I suppose. Cause of a trip is going to be LSD. That's acid, right? Eager, informally. Hmm. Cells. I guess that could be petals, right? Yeah. Um, OBE here. Place for a stud, ear, lobe. It's a nice pair to the lip ring glue. A piercing going on on this side of the puzzle. When a poser might be presented. Hmm, maybe like a model? Hitting a pose, poser. OOP. Hmm, what's this cross here? Cable channel owned by Disney. Well, they own like everything. Doesn't really narrow it down. Uh, is it TLC? Would Disney own TLC? That doesn't sound right to me. African antelope. Hmm. Where's? Hmm. None of this is looking good to me. I'm gonna take out bar. That just seems like it's not helping at all. When a poser might be presented. Hmm. Where's... Eats at? That's too long, isn't it? I'm thinking where's isn't just like where's clothing. What's another word for where's? It's not Don's or... Hmm. Deep End? That doesn't make sense. Ugh, this, this is killing me. If I had been able to remember this, it would have helped a lot here. Eager Informally. I'm just gonna... Is it TLC here? Does that help? Yeah, and then this maybe could be psyched? Huh. But then... Hmm. Toop? Stoop? Hmm. I don't get this one. Yeah. This is... <laughs> is this just has on? Good lord. Okay. Um, I wonder if something... Is this is the first letter of this wrong somehow? When a poser might be presented. Hmm. Ah. Well, it's not sandbar if this, if this is right. So, sand a lot? You don't really build a castle in a sand lot. Oh, a sandbox. Oh boy, please don't. don't. Don't judge me, please. Oh man, I can't believe it took me so long to see that. It's been a long time since I played in a sandbox, okay? Um, boy, this is looking like Ibex, isn't it? 
That can't be right. It has to be earlobe, right? Is there an oryx? Is that a thing? I'm vaguely thinking that I might have heard of this. Oryx? Photo op. Oh man, these two O's really killed me. I just couldn't parse that. Yeah, when a poser might be presented. I even had the right, um, the right thought of like what, what the play on words was there and I still couldn't come up with it. Oof, that is tricky. All right, so what is this then? Pep band? Yeah, okay. I guess maybe it is Oryx. Interesting, okay. Uh, Diane, yeah, that is sort of ringing a bell now that I hear that again. So let's hope that this is our gentleman with the eye patch. Okay, and now we have to fill this in. Great, okay, so this I'm pretty sure about because of pep band. And now, yeah, I guess I'll throw a V in here and hope that a trivet is a thing. Woo, nice, got pretty lucky there. Um, yeah, maybe we can see what a trivet looks like. I'm assuming it's like, I'm imagining like a three-legged stool for a, um, a plant, I guess. Let's see if I'm right about that. Um, all right, well, yeah, I think I think I actually went through that. I had a lot of trouble in this corner here. You struggle along with me there, but um, I think otherwise I blew through the other um, quadrants of this puzzle pretty quickly. So um, yeah, I would say this was on the easier side for a Friday, I guess. Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's hard to know if, if things are just like in your wheelhouse for a day and you got lucky and it is a hard puzzle. But it, feel, it felt pretty easy to me. So, um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I think I struggled here, but other than that, yeah. It was a fun puzzle. There's some nice, um, there's a couple of nice, fun, punny answers in there. So I hope you enjoyed solving with me. And uh, I'll be back at you tomorrow for the Saturday. All right, see you next time.